Hello teachers, welcome back to the online training of 21st century project-based learning model. Now we have come to our first topic that is the issues and challenges in implementing the project-based learning. I will start with the question, why project-based learning? I believe some of you or many of you have this kind of question in your mind too. Why do we need to implement project-based learning in our class? And what makes it important? I will talk about some rationale of implementing project-based learning in our class. And I will start with the student. Today's students, more than ever, often find schools to be boring and meaningless. In project-based learning, students are active, not passive. And a project engages their hearts and minds and provides real-world relevance for learning. And after completing a project, students remember what they learn and retain it longer than is often the case with traditional instruction. Because of this, students who gain content knowledge with PBL are better able to apply what they know and can do to the new situation. In the 21st century workplace, success requires more than just basic knowledge and skills. In project-based learning, students only, not only understand content more deeply, but also learn how to take responsibility and build confidence, solve problems, work collaboratively, communicate ideas, and be creative innovators. Speaking of modern technology, which students use so much in their lives, is a perfect fit with PBL. With technology, teachers and students can connect with experts, partners, audience around the world and use technology tools to find resources and information, create products, and collaborate more effectively. Project-based learning also allows teachers to work more closely with active, engaged students doing high-quality meaningful work and in many cases to rediscover the joy of learning alongside their students. Now I have another question. Can Asian do project-based learning? Yes, this is such a provocative question, right? The answer can be no, can be yes, or maybe. Yes, these are ambiguous answers. How about your answer? Do you just know? Yes or maybe? Some people might say no, Asian students cannot do PBL. This might be the reason. In Asia, the student-teacher relationship tend to be stiff and formal. The teacher is seen as distant figure, while students may tend to have blind respect for their teachers. This could be a result of teachers expecting to be respected without necessarily earning the respect. Our students do not ask questions in class. Is it true? Maybe they are shy, lack of self-esteem, and may be extremely polite. We may also have teachers who put down students who dare to ask questions and view such students as rude. Our Asian culture values loyalty and differences toward the teacher. Our teachers may be authoritarian and expect the student to have question attitude. And the last one is that Asian society also tend to be intolerant of mistakes and thus students will not be more active in class for fear of being wrong. You may agree or disagree to this statement. However, we actually have uh, some ways to make PBL successful. The students need to be constantly asking questions and seeking answers by themselves. And the student-teacher relationship has to be more open and liberal. Students can be freely critical of their teachers and should, be, should feel free to make mistakes and learn from them. Thus, our Asian trade 
both on the part of the students as well as the teacher shouldn't appear to prevent the behavior that is necessary for the successful implementation of BBL. Speaking of the questions about can Asian students do PBL, the answer can be yes. Despite the gloomy picture I have explained before, we still have to be optimistic on the success of PBL in our class. Supportive environment can change student behavior and expectation. Teachers can help students to learn through active and open dialogue with their teachers. Friendly environment will make them feel more comfortable to interact with their teachers in a casual manner. This process might start with anxiety and depression, but along the way, students will start to feel more comfortable and relaxed. There, the learning process will be most likely to happen. But in between, we still can say, maybe. Maybe Asian students can do PBL. This answer is based on my personal experience in doing project-based learning in my own class. After doing a one semester of implementation, students responded to a survey on their reaction to the new teaching learning style of PBL. And the results are as follows. Many of the students' concern were linked to the unfamiliarity with their new role of looking for information themselves other than their teachers. And many felt that PPL sessions were fun and enjoyed uh, the increased interaction among the students and teachers. They thought that PBL encouraged thinking and active integration of information and had improved their research skills. PBL helped them to reinforce their knowledge and its relevance to the real world. Uh, this observation, observation uh, confirmed that from my uh, experience that even students have followed the traditional curriculum for most of their lives are able to change their behavior when placed in a different educational setting. Well, of course, one semester's positive experience does not necessarily mean success for the PBL experiment in my context. I might be able to say yes after I have gained more experiences with PBL and become accustomed to a more open system of teaching and learning that emphasizes more student-centered and self-directed educational activities. Now I will wrap my presentation with three questions for you. I would like you to predict if you have to implement PBL in your class. Do you, can your students do PBL? What challenges that you might face when implementing the PBL? And what can you do to overcome the problems? Please think about the answers and you can type it by uh, replying to this video posting. Thank you very much.